help our department through it because so many of our members were struggling after um, she died by suicide. So I reached out to the AFSP. They were having an advocacy forum um, down in DC and they allowed me to, to attend. And I just, you know, fell in love with the organization um, and what they do. And I found out about the Out of the Darkness Walks and I met with Chief Bowers uh -huh. and explained to him how they work and that I thought it would be a phenomenal opportunity for us to form a broad, strong, community-based coalition um, with businesses, uh, faith-based organizations, um, the AFSP families, our fire department, police department, sheriff, and so he loved it. He, he said, yeah, let's do it, and uh, we've just been in motion ever since. And tell me how uh, you, you, you uh, how many how many people have signed up? How exciting is it? Oh my gosh, it's very exciting. Today's I can't quit looking at the website. If I wasn't doing this interview, I'd probably be looking at the the, the uh, web page to see because we're at naturally we're over a hundred thousand dollars. If you add in some of the corporate sponsors that haven't posted yet, we're probably at about one hundred fifteen thousand. We've we've had a phenomenal outpouring from the business community in Fairfax. We have like twenty five different corporate sponsors. Um, Everything from Transurban, which is a transportation organization, to Cigna. Um, we've had two restaurants in Fairfax that just stepped up big time. JV's and the 29 Diner um, yeah. in Fairfax City. They've been doing extremely well for us doing fundraisers. Um, and then a plethora of others. Um, just, uh, so this is, uh, tell me about